Well, uh, a big good afternoon to everybody for joining us this afternoon for our Mobile Viewpoint uh, webinar live from the kitchen table. So uh, by way of introduction, my name is Mark Andrews. I'm a sales manager here at Mobile Viewpoint. Michelle, would you like to introduce Yes. Me? Hi, I'm Michel Weiss, uh, Managing Director of Mobile Viewpoint, and I'm here together with Mark to tell you more about how to make live production from home instead from the studio. And of course, we have our guest speaker from the US, from our reseller over there, CP Communications, James Morrow. Hello, James. Well, we have some real talent here today. A rumor was it used to be a, a weatherman on the TV, so it's nice to have some real talent. Perhaps, James, you could introduce yourself. Hi, um, I'm James Monroe, the Director of Sales at CP Communications, and, and it's true. I used to be a meteorologist on television, and uh, I haven't done that in a long time, but uh, yeah, it is a true statement. That's great, yes. Um, Normally behind this side of the camera, we're not normally this side of the camera, and that might show a little bit later with our communication. Um, so the format of today, uh, thank you for joining. Everyone is on mute, uh, so feel free to make as much noise as you like. I'm sure we've all learnt uh, in this day and age with the dogs barking and everything, uh, how annoying that can be, but it doesn't matter. Um, also, the, the whole webinar will probably last about 20 minutes, and at the end we have a Q&A session, a live Q&A session, uh, room itself is a Q&A box, so feel free to write questions as you go along. Uh, there's also the chat box. You can write some questions there too. We will check both. Uh, just feel free to uh, write questions. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically kick off. I'm going to share my screen. I have a, a PowerPoint presentation. So if you just bear with me a second while I do that. And so let's click on the PowerPoint, make it work. There we go. So in terms of setting the scene, I, I guess one thing we've all been doing very recently is having our own live streaming in terms of uh, lots of uh, meetings, online meetings, um, Zoom, Google Hangout team, that sort of thing. That is definitely not the type of live streaming we're going to be talking about today. So today is about professional live streaming. So particularly for presenters, celebrities, journalists who traditionally be working within a studio, uh, now they're being forced to work from home. So obviously the camera on the webcam isn't perhaps given the quality they need. So there are alternatives and we're here to talk about that. So in, in terms of who we are, Mobile Viewpoint, uh, just by way of introduction for those of you who don't know us, we're actually a Dutch company based in Alkmaar, it's about uh, 20 kilometers north of Amsterdam. Uh, and for the last 10 years, we've basically been product leaders in outside broadcast and remote production solutions. So what does that mean? Basically providing encoders uh, that connect to the camera where we enable you to live stream specifically over the 4G, 3G, over multiple 3G, 4G networks. So we're innovating in H.264, H.265 encoding, and we continue to innovate with 4K solutions and 5G and that sort of stuff as well. Mm. But today is more about live streaming from home. And, and in fact, one thing I will say is obviously COVID, it's a very sad situation. It's had a dramatic impact on many of us. Um, and we've actually developed our own sort of working from home solutions. And, and the interesting thing, what James is doing and what he will talk about is something that where they've taken our products as well and developed their own home streaming solution as well. But we have our own solution called Trolley Live, and this has been born really out of the necessity of broadcasters coming to us, say, hey, we need a really simple, professional live streaming solution. We can ship to a presenter or a journalist. They are not technical, but we need the ability to live stream a full professional production. But we also need to be able to control it as well. So these guys, they're non-technical, so we need to do everything remotely. So this is what Trolley Live, the basis of how it was born. So perhaps, Michelle, perhaps you'd like to talk a little bit about what we have here. Yeah, it's the, the Trolley Live, uh, really the mobile model, as you can see. And actually, we did bring the camera inside, so it's very easy to carry around, but also to flip it out. And the mechanism that you see happening over here makes it that the camera, when it pops out, it's right in front of your eyes. So when you look into the camera, it's really on your eye height. On the screen below the camera, you can do, of course, return video, but also auto cue. So you really can provide something at the, somebody at the kitchen table and a real live uh, streaming solution with professional uh, features. 
like also there's a dual audio input, a stereo microphone and a line input so they also can play audio. And of course, the talent at home gets a remote control to, to control the camera, which you also can do from the studio again. So it's really something you can send out with the UPS or with the TNT or whatever shipping company and people at home can sell it though. They only have to flip it open as you did see. Uh, plug in power or connect the battery and there are modems inside so they don't need to have a very good internet connection. They still can go live using bonded seller and off they go. Sure. And things like remote management, full IFB, um, return screen, that's all included. As yeah, part of there is a small, uh, and, and the top cover, there's a small hole where you can actually put the microphone and the wires for the, for the headset. So actually the talent doesn't need anything to have at home. He, has, he gets his microphone and the headset together with the box. Great. Um, we also have alternatives, and, and, and James will talk a little bit more about what they've come up with. So we also have the Trolley Live Rack version, which actually I see more as a sort of a, a DIY encoder based on our existing technology. Um, and this is where you're basically able to add your own camera, add your own screen, add your own microphone. So if you're not necessarily looking for an out-of-the-box solution, but something more which you can sort of put together and, and still assemble it yourself and send it to talent so they only need to turn it on, we can do that as well. So again, we have um, a bit of a DIY version as well. Um, and it's interesting what James has done with, with some of our WMT products as well. But the point is, these are providing professional, full quality, full HD, live streaming, low latency with full uh, remote management. Great, so on that note, that's a bit of an introduction. That's my email. If, Again, we could put this up at the end, but if anybody wants to contact us, either m.andrews at mobileviewpoint.com or sales at mobileviewpoint.com is our email address. So on that note, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop sharing uh, and I'm gonna hand over to James. James. Yeah, so Mark, what, what Mark and Michelle and the team at Mobile Viewpoint have come up with, uh, with respect to Trolley Live, both the rack mounted unit and the portable box, is, is really the basis of what we've done as well at CP Communications, and that's with our CamStream solution. And CamStream is, is, is a product that was built around uh, the, the encoders that are done by Mobile Viewpoint. So using the H.265, the H.264, uh, both codecs available on the systems. And what we want to continue to do is, is broaden the capabilities of the system. So think of, of what they've done with Trolley as kind of a stepping stone into CamStream. And, you know, what we are as a company is, is a live event specialist. We do, you know, everything from the New York City Marathon. We had a presence at the Super Bowl and everything in between. So live events, comms, audio, return video, all of that type of stuff is exactly in the wheelhouse that, that we do. So des design and engineering was the basis and the crux of what we designed with the, with the CamStream products. We really want to take what we've been doing for the last, as companies, been for the last three years plus now as a partnership that we have, and Mobile Viewpoint's been around a lot longer doing what they do, but we want to continue to push the innovation that's occurring in uh, the space, not just for broadcasters, where we've seen from film to ENG trucks to IP-based workflows, but we want to continue to push uh, into the next generation of content. And our mission really has been from day one, and it continues to be this today, to capture the content, transmit it, no matter what method you want to use, if it's bonded cellular, if it's a wired LAN, if it's Wi-Fi, distribute it and get it in. But it continue to make it easier and easier as non-technical people are brought into the productions uh, that are being done remotely across North America, Europe, uh, Africa, anywhere else you may want to travel in the world. It's important, Mark made a great uh, important note. This is HD broadcast quality content that we can distribute to just about anywhere. Um, we manage it with the same tools that mobile viewpoints infrastructures managed by link matrix. We use link switches, we use uh, uh, decoders. Those are 2K4, four channel output uh, if you want a true SDI workflow, or we can do it in a web-based workflows. And, and we can add in things like prompters and remote uh, return video. And the cool thing is, it's all built around the same products that we've been using for the last many years. And you'll see here uh, the HD SDI outputs, um, you know, basically coming out of the side. We also have HDMI inputs. And so you can return video from all types of sources. We can do multi-camera productions using this kit. We can, you can see here on the back is the Agile Air Link. It's the core 
product that I consider from mobile viewpoint, one of the, the, the easiest to kind of use and push around. So return video on the front screen, a PTZ camera on, on the, uh, the top. And it's basically plug in the power, you press two power buttons and everything turns on. And because of the cellular capabilities, it immediately boots up and we have remote controls so we can add things like Wi-Fi. Your talent don't need to worry about that. So you can send this to the most novices home and it just works. And we can su basically support you from our network operations center and make this system really hum and make your productions look amazingly good. I, I'm gonna show you uh, basically some of the controls that we're using today. Um, you know, with, with our productions. And uh, essentially, I can control this camera with, with a web interface. I can use uh, a joystick. There's a couple of different ways we can integrate it with vMix so we can set preset camera positions. This is out of our offices in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm located outside Chicago, Illinois, and I'm basically controlling this camera. I can do zoom ins, I can do zoom outs, I can do an area zoom so I can mark on the, on the, image it'll take that zoom and so I can frame up the picture however I want it to work and this is the simplicity that you have to have in today's remote production workflows and the beauty of it is is everything we've used from the the audio inputs uh, the return video uh, the IFB everything else is for the most part done through the agile airlink it's the same tools that that people are using today with with their units and we've just built a, a nice fancy case that's enc encapsulated, you know, all of the, the technology and the magic that happens behind the scenes and hidden it from the talent. Because the one thing that we found out on, on a couple of the projects that we worked on, we got great feedback from, from our customers. And, and we're asking for more and more feedback as people continue to use the system, we're making changes, we're making improvements. And what this means is, is that at the end of the day, this becomes the most uh, capable plug and play feature rich solution that's on the market today. And, and it really will be as bulletproof as you can make it. So you can have bonded cellular, Wi-Fi, a wired LAN, and connect right up, so a home internet. And I, I saw a question come up uh, in the chat asking about what I'm using. I mean, this is exactly the type of product that, that we're using today. And this will continue to be uh, the technology that pushes forward. We've been talking about this for over a year. And um, you know, the reason we talked about it is we knew the future was going to be something more. So we've done a, 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 the new school virtual commencement with using the same product. So it was all produced remotely done via uh, the tools that we're using with CamStream today. And we, we branched out from there. We got even more difficult. So we went from uh, basically doing uh, the commencement to going to what we, we called the, uh, it was called the stay at home slam. Um, the stay at home slam was uh, essentially a, a, a production done by uh, a company out of California, and it was done using Facebook and, and YouTube uh, and other products. I'll mute the sound here. But essentially, we had stars from all over the world using this kit in their homes, streaming it through. And I'll share the link with everybody so they can go take a look at Stay at Home Slam on, on Facebook Gaming. But the, the, prod, the project was 18 remote cameras with integrations with Nintendo Switches, all of that done uh, in a very easy workflow. So what we wanted to do is be able to bring this into a cloud workflow. We use Grabio, uh, who you know we've done a little bit of work with in the last few months, but none of this actually came back to a physical encoder, decoder type situation. It went into the cloud, it stayed in the cloud, it was produced in the cloud, and then streamed out and distributed uh, around the world. So really, really cool uh, project to be part of. Over three and a half million views on this. So, I mean, this, this can scale as big or as small as you want it. And, and the price points are pretty good because it's all using core solutions and, and a lot of off the shelf uh, type solutions that we use along with this. You'll see the Sony cameras here uh, for our multicam stream package where we can do three cameras with a single unit. We can also use Panasonic and we're testing Blackmagic and some other cameras uh, as we speak. And this will continue to, to expand. Um, and I see this really developing even faster as 5G, uh, the tools that Mobile Viewpoint have put out in the last uh, few weeks and will be available in early July. Um, you know, as those come online, 4K and all of that will really, really push the envelope here. So a higher quality broadcast capable system is much more 
price available than it ever has been in, in the past. Um, and it, once again, all the same tools, return video, audio, IFB, two-way comms, all of that, really cool. And, you know, mobile viewpoint, really, in my opinion, and, you know, I've worked at other companies, as, as all of you have, used different products, and that mobile viewpoints solutions are, are the best in the market, in my opinion. And that's why CP is, is partnered with them. We see, you know, engineered for maximum efficiency. It makes it easy, plug and play, ready. And once it's set up, Link Matrix is so easy. It took me about a week to learn how to use Link Matrix professionally as a sales guy. So I'm getting phone calls from customers saying, hey, how do I, how do I route this? I log in, I show them, I basically do a, a, a shared screen with them. All you do is you drag it here, you right click on it, you can click on it, get these controls. And in 10 minutes, they were up and running no problems whatsoever. So, you know, I mean, these are not difficult to use. And the simplicity is something we heard from customer after customer after customer. And this is why the partnership uh, with, with Mobile Viewpoint has been so good. And as you can see, we have offices in Florida and New York. Um, you can reach out to me directly, you know, james.monroe at cpcoms.com. And, you know, I'll put my cell phone number up here. Feel free to call. Uh, you know, uh, Central U.S. time. So if, if you call too early in the morning from Central Europe or Eastern Europe, uh, I may not answer. But uh, uh, yeah, feel free to reach out. You know, we can help you. But it, once again, it is using the same mobile viewpoint technology uh, that, that Michelle and, 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 and Mark have really done a great job of, of presenting over the last few webinars. And I, I'm excited to be part of the team working with them here in North America uh, on, on, you know, not not pushing products, but solving problems uh, for customers across across the states, uh, across Canada. And, you know, the beauty of this is, as we continue to grow as, as partners and, and companies, uh, you know, our solutions will become even better and they'll become even easier. And I think it'll make everyone's life better. Thanks for the praise, James. Hi highly appreciated. So any chance you can put the, the video back on that you were showing with the game playing? That's absolutely. So you Absolutely. obviously had quite a few very major tier one celebrities in that. Now, obviously they don't like people coming to their house. So maybe it's just worth exploring. You know, how, how, did you just deliver the units and they set them up themselves? How, what yeah. was the process? So, so we basically shipped direct to home. Um, in, in some instances, you know, you had, you had, we had to send a technician out, not because of, of, of our, you know, the complexity of setting this up, but you know, some people just don't want to set it up themselves. Uh, but we did have a couple of, of, of talent that, that set it up themselves and they had no problem doing so. Um, matter of fact, we got feedback from one who said it was one of the easiest and, and you know, most amazing setups that, that he's seen. And we actually got an inquiry about doing stuff beyond even this event. So, um, it, it, but we took a lot of feedback on this. And, you know, the one thing we found is that, you know, the cabling and, and all of the wires and the technology inside the unit was, it, it was kind of like this, oh my goodness, this is really tough. It's really difficult. And it wasn't, it really wasn't. It was just the perception of the person that was going to set it up. People get really technology shaky, uh, you know, real quick, you know, anything beyond plugging in an HDMI cable or a power cable. Um, you know, turning a television on, you know, making sure that they can connect their, their, their cable box up to their TV. Um, but yeah, I mean, once we got, you know, we, got, we really got all this feedback, we went back to the drawing board since that event and made some changes based on the feedback from that event and a couple of others. So, um, you know, it, but you know, the crazy thing is 18 camera remote production pulled together in less than a week. Um, and it was, it went off amazingly well. You can see the quality is, is great on this. Uh, you know, the folks that produced it and did the work on the production house side, uh, Facebook gaming, uh, Nintendo, they, they all did a great job on their sides as well. And they're amazing partners uh, in this project. But, you know, this raised over a million dollars for charity and uh, we were glad to be part of it. Yeah, and it's, it's obviously a two-way video because you've got the talent and the fact right. as well. So it, it's, it's everything combined, yeah. You got the return video. You've got, you've got you know, the, the IFB comms. Um, you know, in this instance here, and this is, this is where CP strength is, we were able to bring out, you know, things like Unity comms. And people are like, well, how do you connect it up if you don't have cellular connectivity in that spot? Well, the beauty is, is that the, you know, you may have not cellular connectivity on AT&T, but you may have it on Verizon and T-Mobile, or you may have it on, uh, you know, 
the Canadian SIMs, uh, as, as we also use. Uh, the beauty is, is that you can connect the phone up directly to the Agile AirLink and use its data path as well. So we had two-way comms back and forth uh, with the production facilities, and that, that really does make a big difference, being able to scale this, go wireless IFBs, all of those types of things, wireless mics if we need to. Uh, it comes standard, uh, the rental kit with a, with a wired lav or shotgun or you know, stick mic, you know, whatever you want. You bring your own mic flag, and, and you can plug it in. But, I mean, we have gotten so much uh, feedback and so much interest in this, and, and we've got some really, really big projects coming up that I think, I think will change the way the broadcast community looks at this, not just the at-home productions, but I mean, this the broadcasters are looking at, at expanding as well, because I mean, the cost of doing business in the COVID world is, is a big deal. And so we've got to keep the price points right for everybody. And, you know, and we're able to do that. And that's, that's the beauty of the system and the simplicity of it. So it's easy to use, it's the right price, and it, it makes a a really heck of a good uh, video quality production. So that's what, that's yeah, what makes guess, us happy. Yeah. And I guess just the fact that celebrities with, with, with perceived <laughs> money, they don't always have good network connectivity into their homes. So the right. fact that you, you can use that hybrid of uh, SIM cards and the local area network and bond them as a single connection for the reliability, yeah. I guess works really So well. I'll share, I'll share something. I won't say the name, but one of the celebrities had less than five megabits per second upload speed and they had almost no cellular connectivity at their, at their location. But we were able to bond together what cellular connectivity we had plus that upload speed and the internet speed that was available. And because of the HEVC that comes, you know, standard on all of our, the units that we sell and rent here in, the, in North America and across much of the world, it, it worked flawlessly. And that's, that's the kind of stuff that, that it creates this tunnel that if you didn't have, you know, all of the, 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 the tools in your toolkit, if you will, it would have probably failed, but it didn't. It went off without a hitch that these guys did an amazing job. And, uh, you know, our, our, our solutions really proved that they were worth, worth every bit of it. So it, it's, it's pretty yeah, I it's think pretty James incredible. Has a valid point there, Mark, that yeah. although we already talk about 5G every day at the moment, there are many places in the world where there is not that much bandwidth at all, that you should be happy if you have 3G at all. Right. Yeah. So I think that's the good thing about our solutions. If you have 5G, uh, then one SIM card will do the job. But if you don't have 5G, not even 4G, then also the box will still do the job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I think also the, the bottom line is that if you package carefully the solution, and somebody himself can set it up about the packaging of the, of the, of the, of the, of the solution and, and the wiring. So I think that, that also proves this whole, whole gig that that was possible. Absolutely. I think one thing it proves that money doesn't always buy bandwidth either. So uh, no, yeah, you need <laughs> no. Yeah. And, and, you know, what we're finding in the space today is, you know, people are getting tired of paying overpriced, you know, for, for, you know, like trade shows and other things, the pressure to pay for this, you know, $15,000 for a horrible internet connection at a trade show. I mean, those days are coming to an end quickly. I know there's no trade shows going on right now, but you know, the cost of bandwidth can be, can be crushing, but also bringing out a satellite truck. I mean, in some of these instances, it would have been a satellite truck to bring it back, the delay was actually less uh, via bonded cellular than cellular. And the price point of all of this, plus doing it on, on cellular was cheaper than the cost of the rental of the satellite time. And that's excluding what the cost of the truck and the, the manpower would have been. So, you know, yeah. once again, yeah. it's, it's cost effective, it is easy to deploy. And we sent these directly to people's homes and they opened them up like they would any Amazon package. Um, the only difference is they had to ship it back. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, James, thank, thank you so much. That was so insightful. Um, perhaps what we could do now is open up to Q&A. So if, if people do have questions, then, then now's the time to uh, put it in there. We do have one question. So let me click on. Um, oh, good point. Do you advise on lighting setup as an example and or other backdrop virtual sets, et cetera? Perhaps, James, do you, do you have any comments? Yeah. I, so... I mean, we're, we're looking at, at different lighting kits. I mean, you can bring your own. We're happy to ship one as well. Um, you know, we've got lighting kits. We've used green screens and some of this. I, I don't know if you noticed or not. Uh, I'll go back to the virtual commencement. Um, the virtual commencement was, was basically the first, um, the first part of that. And for whatever reason, there we go. Uh, PowerPoint, not, not playing fair to this morning. Um, the very first uh, right here, this is a green screen behind this gentleman. So the doctor here basically did this from home in front of a green screen 
And that was put in, uh, you know, with graphics as the stream came back. And, you know, you don't see any outline. So it was well lit, green screens, all of that come, you know, those are add-ons that we can do. Um, but yeah, I mean, the base package comes with just about everything else you need. And the lighting kits are all, you know, that's subjective. What do you, what do you need for that location? Because, you know, every house, you know, my office, I have to shut the blinds behind me. Otherwise it, the, it's blown out from, from the lighting. Um, the camera has trouble with it, but you know, those are the types of things that, that you can do to kind of help yourself. But yeah, uh, any, any, uh, standard streaming light kit, they don't have to be expensive. Um, you know, they can be anything that sticks on a, a stand. Yeah. We looked today at uh, the Elgato stuff, for example, for this home webinar uh, guys or the home streamer. Uh, yeah. Elgato sells all very cheap LED lamps that you can control from your PC even. So uh, right. yeah, it will not be the best quality ever, but I think compared <laughs> to the price level, it, it looked very good and you read very good reviews about it as well. Yeah, they're in use by vloggers a lot and they're very critical of things, but and, and they yeah. want everything cheap. So it, the, yeah, they, they, that stuff is hey, really good. Yeah, you know, that, br that brings up a really good point. If you want to find out what works, Go search, you know, some of these these mega streamers and what they're using uh, for light right. kits and mics and you know all of that, and you you can get a lot of the things yourselves. I mean, really, all you would need from us would be the Adjo Airlink, and and you know we can put you into the cloud solution. So if you want your own camera, you want your own mic, your own, you know, everything else, it's it's all cap it's possible. And you know, a lot of these people make a lot of money. Uh, you counting on their bandwidth and sometimes the bandwidth is is a little less in the home than they would like even uh so you know we can add to that with our data bonding excellent um we do have another question do you have an actors of a boxed solution um well we showed one of our trolley live earlier i hope you got that james i don't know if you you were showing a render were you or uh, have you got a picture of yeah, so in the box, it, it's it's in a box and let me see if i'll i'll go back to sharing and then um uh, uh, we'll go back and I'll just step back in, in the presentation here. Uh, so this is a 3D rendering right now. So the metal work has been shipped off. It's, it's being, you know, professionally cut and, and then we're going to have it powder coated for, you know, protection. It's, it's built around protecting the kit inside of it. But the idea is, um, and I can, you know, I'll send out, you know, if anybody wants one, you know, you can reach out to me at james.monroe at cpcoms.com. Um, I can send out a picture of the base. The base is designed to sit on a table, on a, on a, on a tripod, um, you know, whatever you, you want for your, your production. And it can be as simple, as easy as, as that. Um, so, you know, we basically ship out with a stand. It's just a speaker stand. It sits up there. It weighs less than 10 pounds, the whole kit right there as you see it. Um, and, you know, we're able to, to basically, you know, go from there. But uh, this was the 3D rendering. The final solution will be complete next week. Uh, and, and we're going to have a, a lot of these kits. The last, last count we had, it was 22. We're looking at adding a bunch more. I mean, we could probably be adding anywhere from 20 to 25 more above that. Um, but if it gets busier, we'll, we'll continue to add more than that even. Yeah, I actually did see the prototype that they used, uh, so that it was really do-it-yourself. But that evolved, as James says, in this professional uh, folded metal casing. And what you can see very carefully, the air link is on the back, so you, you can see the screen from the back. Mm -hmm. So you can set it up from the back. And then on the other side, you put yourself uh, with the screen in front of the camera. And as said, uh, the, these PTZ cameras are Sony's, but as uh, James said, there can be any PTZ camera you already have available, for example. So it doesn't have to be a uh, Sony, but... Yeah, go for a good camera because that, of course, makes the, the quality in the end. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, next question from Brian. Uh, did James mention Unity comms as a text comms system? I did. Uh, you know, we used yeah. Unity comms because uh, it's something that we use a lot for our live uh, event productions, you know, for, you know, back and forth at football stadiums. Uh, we use Sonom phones, which are a military-grade phone. So, you know, we can ship those out. Uh, you know, we can add them to the package. It's, it's really easy to do. Um, and, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of phones available to us, 100 plus uh, in our inventory that, you know, we can hook those up with your Unity server. You give us, you give us the IP address, you give us, you know, everything that we need on our side to, to set it up. And uh, one of our guys that works here at, at CP, uh, Brian Reddy, is, is a, an expert on, on Unity Com. So we're, we're happy to help you out with any of those types of of professional broadcast level solutions. Um, but we can also use the IFB that's designed within the, uh, the mobile viewpoint solution as well. So either, either or we're, we're, you know, we're happy to engineer 
uh, what your your needs are, not what we think you should have. Uh, and that's and that's the beauty of CP and MVP together. We use the the core solutions, but we can also add add on through engineering teams. Uh, you know the the things that you need to make your production work for you. A truly valued system integrator. Mm -hmm. um, next question, uh, anonymous. Did you see this as an emerging trend paradigm shift where broadcasters will change the way they operate and increase the amount of home presenters as becoming the new norm? Yes, we think so. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think so too. You yeah, know, yeah, people yeah. in the past had always thought it was uh, Skype. So Skype was not good enough, but now they see there are high quality solutions. So it is not a problem to get a, somebody from home into your talk show anymore. It's very well possible and the right quality. So yes, we think there is a shift. And maybe this is the brave new world. Maybe it will all revert back to how it was before. But I think with this technology we're creating in a box, you know, it lends itself to so many different applications. It can, not just for home working, but remote working, office working, maybe corporates who want to do more professional live streaming, yeah, um, you know, events, when eventing comes back, um, trade shows, that sort of thing. I, I, I think there's a massive amount of opportunity for this sort of type of technology. And also, it's very uh, cost affordable now to get a guest from, from his home into your, into your broadcast or in your program. Because today, you see many times send out a satellite vehicle to get somebody like a big famous star into your live show. But now you can just send this equipment out and you can also get the same star at a very low budget in your show again. Yeah. And we, we talk a lot about 5G being sort of a, a new enabler for live streaming. Um, obviously, it's a lot of bandwidth that are, you know, at a, a sort of low rate. But there's the other advance of AI technology, for example. So we as a company, for 10 years, we've been developing encoding solutions. But now we're looking more and more on the development of the AI side of things. So for example, we're using what we call a, an automated studio production system here called vPilot for our webinar. So we have five cameras here, but there's not a cameraman or a director in sight. It's all driven by AI. And especially in a world at the moment where we don't want to, you know, we're all doing social distancing, we want to stay and keep away from each other. This is ideal for those sort of scenarios. Uh, and we also have AI for sports production and that sort of stuff. So for us, you know, a mixture of machine learning, computer intelligence, 5G, 4K, IP workflows, cloud-based workflows, you know, it, it, it's really all. Uh, and that's, of course, the whole Corona crisis pushes it more out now. In the past, people mm -hmm. were hesitating about using remote production, doubts about the quality, about how well does it work, but now they have to, and now engineers discover how good it works. Yeah. So I expect it will be used more and more because the, the, the solution proved itself today, actually, in the field. Yeah, absolutely. James, I don't know if you've got any comments on the, on the brave news coming? Uh, I, no, I 100% I mm -hmm. agree. I mean, one of the, I think one of the places you'll see this, this type of solution coming out more and more is what we would consider our, our mobile journalists or MMJs here in the States. And it's a multimedia journalist and, and, you know, the ability to take this kit and then run the camera remotely, uh, you know, at live shots, at, at breaking news events, all of those types of things that will change the world on the broadcast side. And, and think of it this way as well. I mean, it's one less person you would ship out to, to an event. I mean, you could have a, a talent bring this kit and do sideline reporting. You could do all kinds of things that we haven't even thought of. And, and, you know, it really, it would make your life very, very easy in that respect. But yeah, it's, it's changed forever. I think so. Uh, next question. Um, what about encryption cyber protection measures? Yeah, the, the connection. So we use uh, by default 128 IS. You can also do 256, but that is still under some government rules from the US. I know. So 128 by default. And uh, of course, yes, if you give away the password, like your Zoom password, then you see all the people appearing in your uh, live broadcast. But no, the, by default, the connection is uh, totally protected. Exactly. Um, next question. Oh, it's not a question, it's a comment. Thank you, uh, Alexandra. Uh, I love the render. I would like to see the kit when finished. Now, that, that yep. will be done soon if I listen to James. So yes. that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. Is there an API that automation can send commands, et cetera, over? Now, yeah, that's what, you, what, of course, James explained is that, of course, via the IP channel that the WNT provides from the, the location, the remote location back to the studio, you can s control any device, your own comms device or your own light remote control device. But also, the, the link matrix has an API as well that you can also remotely control stuff. Yeah. 
what I would say, you know, if you've got a specific project that you're looking at specific functionality, then talk to us and we'd be happy to share more information on that. Um, I think that's most of the questions in the Q and A. Oh, no. Um, rough budget for trolley live box rack CPs, etc. Um, we won't give away pricing on this open forum for commercial reasons, but if you're interested in pricing, you know, please either contact myself or James and we'd be more than happy to share some sort of costs. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to nip over to the chat. There was something in chat. Um, oh, we've got some questions here. What link and what endpoint equipment is James using? Excellent pictures. That's from Brian. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's the MVP gear. So, uh, you know, and nothing, nothing special here. It's, uh, it, you know, it is special, but it's, it's, you know, it's basically our core, our core solution. So, um, yeah. I see a couple more questions popped up in the uh, question and answer section. All right, I'll about go what... back to that. Yep. Let me just finish this one. Uh, can you explain how you did the New York Marathon with bonded cellular? Oh, the, yeah, the New York City Marathon. I'm happy to send a white paper out on that. Uh, it was incredible. Um, you, they used to use all, uh, you, know, you know, ENG trucks and, and SAT trucks and things like that. Now we use all bonded cellular. Uh, there's a couple of, uh, of places that have challenging uh, cellular connectivity because of the structures. The, the bridge is one of those locations. Um, you know, we put up, you know, a, a, an antenna, things like that. You know, we do a lot of stuff. So we've got our smart cars that we use, uh, that we drive around. We've got motorcycles. You know, it, it, it makes for a more interesting production. But I mean, we roll the whole CP team out and, and the guys that work on that project from, from our company do an amazing job. And mobile viewpoint, see, you know, really is bulletproof in a lot of ways. I mean, we've got a, the one challenge on the bridge, uh, but other than that, I, you know, it, we, it's just video and, and audio coming back um, over the system. We have two Q&As indeed, I noticed, Mark. Uh, possibly. Um, what is Link Matrix? So we, we obviously talk a lot about remote management. So Link Matrix is actually the mobile viewpoint uh, portal offering where you can basically log in and remotely manage all the encoders and all the decoders and you can set up which streams go to where. Michelle, I don't know if you want to say anything more about Link No, uh, it's, it's, it's the basic management system. So from the Link Matrix, you can log into your systems remotely. You can change settings. You can actually see the user interface that the cameraman sees as well. So you can really also support the people remotely. And as James said, if you have an issue as customer, you own the support department or the local support in North America. And then via the Link Matrix, we help you out setting things up. And um, the next question that also pops over is the return. Yeah, there it is, the return video setup. Yeah, yeah the, the, the encoders uh, from us also have an output that can be HDMI or SDI these days. So you can hook up with the talent and SDR and HDMI screen and you can send back video using one of our encoders as a return feed. That can also be, of course, containing an auto queue feed as well. Yeah. So, yep. yeah, that's a question from Mark, return video setup. Yep. Yeah, it's full frame, uh, not reduced in size, so you get a real high quality video return signal. Okay. And we just so, use uh, that yeah. this week with another project too. Um, and, and the beauty is, is with, if you have two, two encoders, you can have two separate video streams coming back. So, you know, it's, it's, it's the beautiful part of the solution and, you know, it makes it really simple and easy and you can put, you know, program feed in one and you can put teleprompter in the other and, you know, off you go, or we can provide a separate teleprompter solution as well for remote hosts and things like that. Real remote production, I would say. Yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. the future. Well done, James. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think on that note, we've answered all the questions, uh, both in the chat and the Q&A box. So that just leaves me to basically give a huge thanks to James for joining us today from Chicago. Uh, we're here in the Netherlands and uh, the world is a small place because here we are and we have uh, quite a lot of people from all over the world attending. So I'd just like to thank James. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us thank this you. afternoon. Um, as a follow-up, we will probably send out a quick email to everyone. We will put this online. Uh, so there's a link. So if you wish to see it again, you can. Be, uh, you can. Uh, and also, if you have any projects that you'd like to talk about, then please, you know, please just contact us. So on that note, I'd like, wish everyone to stay safe uh, out there. And until next time, we've got a series of webinars, so keep an eye out. Uh, more and more webinars over the coming weeks, and you're very welcome to join us in the future. So on that note, I'd say goodbye. Yes, thanks for your attention. As said, uh, just send an email with your question or your speci specific request for remote production, and we'll try to answer it and uh, possibly integrate in a solution. Fantastic.
All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you.